Hello people, in this video, let us look at osteoid osteoma. <clears throat> osteoid osteoma, um, basically look at the spelling here first of all, that is um, osteoid, right? So basically there will be some new bone formation. So it's a bone forming kind of tumor and oma kind of indicates it's a benign. Uh, so you can see here it's a benign bone tumor and it affects the diaphysis of the bone. So that part of the bone uh, you can see here there is an osteoid osteoma here affecting the diaphysis, right? Which is diaphysis, this part is a diaphysis, right? So it is affecting this part and hence it is a diaphyseal tumor. The good thing about this is it is not pre-malignant, it has good prognosis. Let us look at um, where it was in our tumors of bone classification video. Look at this, um, here in the diaphyseal tumor, here you can see osteoid osteoma, right? Uh, osteoid osteoma, the main thing you have to remember is, uh, it's benign, yes, affects diaphysis, yes. Actually, the thing is, there will be pain at night, which is relieved by aspirin, salicylates, lates, etc. So, that is a very important thing about osteoid osteoma. Look at this, uh, osteoid osteoma here, they say it's affecting femur, but actually the textbook here says, the lower extremities are more common, tibia is the commonest. This is what the textbook says. Looks like uh, there is some confusion where it affects. So, osteoid osteoma. So, basically femur and tibia standard things that you will write for all bone tumors actually. Osteoid osteoma, uh, what you should understand here is uh, pain at night relieved by aspirin salicylates. Okay, so this is uh, an important clue that they will give you. Okay, so uh, what else do you know about it guys? How will it will how it will be? Look at this. Uh, uh, there will be a place of tangled rays of partially mineralized osteoid trabeculae. Partially mineralized osteoid trabeculae. Okay, there's a place of tangled arrays of partially mineralized mineral what am I saying? <laughs> mineralized osteoid trabeculae, which is surrounded by dense sclerotic tissue. The tissue around it is how? It is sclerotic and dense, dense sclerotic tissue. So here is your osteoid, osteoma, oma. Okay. What will be the clinical presentation of these people? So they will have pain that we have written uh, here. Uh, pain, right? Uh, femur, tibia will be affected. There will be pain. Pain at night, especially which is worst at night. Pain which is worst at night, which is relieved by salicylates like aspirin. Okay, and um, there could be a palpable swelling if the uh, if it is superficial lesion looks like it is superficial here, right? So probably it can be palpable. Otherwise, there is minimal clinical signs. This is more like a symptom, isn't it? Signs will not be there that you can actually look for it. So then, what you will do? You will take an X-ray. X-ray you will do for what? Osteoid osteoma. Okay, so X-ray you will do, and you will confirm the. Uh, tumor basically you can see the tumor is visible as a zone of sclerosis which is surrounding a radiolucent nidus so there will be a radiolucent nidus okay which is less than one centimeter in size so it's a very small one looks like in some cases the nidus may not be seen on a plain x-ray and you may need to do a ct okay so that's what it is Guys, X-ray uh, you can do, but a CT is required if there is extensive uh, sclerosis okay, surrounding it. And uh, here we have written that normally this nidus and all is just 1 cm, less than 1 cm only. It's not going to be very big. Okay. How is the treatment that you will do? Treatment. Uh, complete excision of this nidus along with the sclerotic bone. So, you will just remove the entire thing. Okay. So, you will excise excision of the nidus and the sclerotic bone okay prognosis is good prognosis is good basically you should remember that it is a it is not a pre malignant condition it, if you leave it or something it will not go into malignancy so it is something nice let's make it green and green and happy okay so this uh, osteoid osteoma is a benign diaphyseal bone tumor it is not a pre-malignant condition. The prognosis is good for this. Basically, it affects the femur, tibia, etc. The clinical features will be more like pain which is worst at night and it is relieved by aspirin like that is salicylates. Usually, the uh, lesion is being less than 1 cm. There is nidus that is place of that is a place of tangled array of partially mineralized osteoid trabeculae. 
let's draw that here so you can draw this type of diagram also in the exam so nidus of tangled array of partially mineralized osteoid right which is surrounded by dense sclerotic bone okay this is your osteoid osteoma osteoid trabeculi that is the word okay nidus the place of tangled array of partially mineralized osteoid trabeculi less than 1 cm you should say always and um, uh, i mean usually it will be less than 1 cm and it will be surrounded by dense sclerotic bone okay and in the x ray you will see the same thing and if there is extensive sclerotic uh, surrounding sclerosis then you may need a ct okay then uh, treatment you might you will have to excise this nidus along with the sclerotic bone and the prognosis is good it's a it's not a pre malignant condition it will not lead to malignancy that's it guys about osteoid osteoma just remember this point pain worst at night relieved by aspirin can you say osteoid osteoid osteoma osteo oma yes pain worst at night pain worst at night relieved by relieved by aspirin aspirin say bye